Do you know that flying probe testing can quickly and accurately complete PCB testing? Compared to traditional manual measurements, automated flying probe testing not only saves more time and costs but also increasing manufacturing yield. Hello everyone, welcome back to the IST channel. I'm your host today, Chen. If you want to stay updated with the latest semiconductor news, or get professional insights from IST, please subscribe so you won't miss the new videos. In the early stages of the manufacturing process, if we can detect electrical defects in the PCB or identify defective products early, it can reduce the risk of returns and improve product yield. Flying probe testing is an automated testing method used for both bare PCBs and PCB assemblies. It employs precise testing probes that move rapidly in the XYZ axis across the PCB. These probes contact the pins or connection points of components, enabling the measurement of various electrical values such as resistance, capacitance, and more. Flying probe testing doesn't require developing testing fixtures, which can save a lot of time and money in upfront work. It's perfect for conducting diverse tests on small quantities of products. In today's video, besides introducing flying probe testing, we'll also be sharing four cases where flying probe testing successfully pinpointed defects in PCBA. If you're keen on understanding this tool better, make sure to watch until the end. Flying probe testing can be divided into two types. The first type is for bare PCBs before components are mounted. It identifies defects such as opens and shorts between each circuit. This test is called bare boards test, or BBT for short. The second type is for PCBs with components already mounted. It can precisely measure various electrical values of components, distinguishing between good and defective products, as well as identifying any defects in the components. This test is called in-circuit test, or ICT for short. ICT is the primary application of flying probe testing. It can test a wide range of components such as resistors, capacitors, diodes, MOSFETs, and more. Through ICT testing, both manufacturing process quality and component functionality can be ensured. When applying ICT flying probe testing during reliability testing phases, it offers three significant advantages. IST's ICT flying probe testing offers high flexibility. Its first advantage is that it doesn't require additional customized fixtures to complete PCBA testing. Even if there are modifications to the PCBA, fixture modifications aren't needed, resulting in significant time and cost savings. The second advantage is that, for PCBA functional or connectivity testing, IST's appropriate testing program and fixture designs enables high coverage ICT flying probe testing, ensuring comprehensive test results. During the manufacturing process, PCBs may incur slight deformation, which can affect test results. The third advantage of ICT flying probe testing is its ability to utilize laser scanning technology. When scanning detects warpage in the PCB, the probes can compensate for the warpage, ensuring that testing is not affected by deformation. This results in more precise testing data. After a detailed introduction to the functionality of flying probe testing, you might be curious about its practical applications. Additionally, we haven't discussed how ICT flying probe testing can be used to identify defects in PCBA. Next, we'll invite Josh, an expert from IST's Reliability Laboratory, to provide a detailed explanation. Hi everyone, I'm Josh. Based on practical experience, we've identified several scenarios where customers commonly utilize flying probe testing. Firstly, as Chen mentioned earlier, during the manufacturing process, it's crucial to verify whether the components function properly or if any defects occur during tests. In these cases, we can utilize ICT flying probe testing for verification. In addition to identifying defective components, the ICT flying probe test can be conducted when there are concerns about component quality or when running different batches of test units with the same boards. The recorded data from the ICT flying probe test prior to the tests can be used for comparing and analyzing any data discrepancies. It can also be utilized for inspecting and repairing faulty boards. When boards or components undergo reliability testing, aging issues may arise. By comparing the flying probe test data before the test, we can identify the aging components. Flying probe testing is also applicable in the automotive electronics field, where board level reliability testing is a common qualification item for automotive electronic products. 
Faced with various high temperature, high humidity, and high vibration tests, ICD flying probe testing can provide numerical comparisons of PCBS before and after tests, reducing the risk of human error in measurements and improving test quality. Above are common scenarios where flying probe testing is utilized. Next, we'll share how IST's Reliability Laboratory employs ICT flying probe testing to identify defects on PCBA. The image shows a pin-to-pin -pin short circuit anomaly, but visually determining whether it's caused by the PCB or the component is challenging, making it difficult to identify the defect. By using a flying probe to test the PCB circuits, it's easy to detect abnormal pin values, leading to the discovery of solder overflow issues. Another case involves a short circuit occurring on the pins of a socket. After employing flying probe testing, it can be determined that the issue is not with the PCB material, ultimately pinpointing the defects on the socket itself. When passive components on a PCB a malfunction and there are numerous components on the board, traditional methods of using ICT fixtures to troubleshoot the issue can take several weeks. Earlier, we mentioned the first advantage of ICT flying probe testing. It conducts PCBA testing without the need for additional customized fixtures. This allows for the quick confirmation of component values for anomalies and pinpoint the defect where components are damaged. In advanced manufacturing processes, electronic components on PCBA are densely packed and intricate. Any missing or misassembled jumper can lead to product abnormalities. In such cases, using flying probe testing can confirm the connectivity between each connection point, quickly identifying the problem. Once the issue is found, simply replacing the jumper resolves it, without the need for extensive inspection of the entire PCBA, saving time and manpower costs. In the final case, we conducted testing on a voltage regulator using a ICT flying probe test. The results indicated abnormal voltage. By utilizing the flying probe test data, we were able to accurately identify the position of the soldering defect on the IC pins. With the advancement of manufacturing processes and the widespread use of automotive electronics, customers are placing increasing emphasis on the quality of reliability testing. By leveraging the high precision and wide coverage of flying probe testing characteristics, coupled with data analysis, it becomes possible to effectively enhance the success rate of passing reliability tests. Click the link in the description box to read the technical article of this episode. If you have any topics you'd like to learn more about, feel free to leave a comment, and we will bring you more videos. If you have any questions, please email us or add us on the official line of IST. To receive the latest updates, please follow us on LinkedIn or Facebook. So that's a wrap for today. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to press the bell.